Hi everybody and welcome to another vlog. We're currently in Lowestoft. Callum's just paying for parking and we are finally in our new family car which is a Citroen C3 which I absolutely love. If you're new to the channel you might not know my husband Callum was involved in an accident which wasn't his fault back in October and it's taken all this time to get a payout. So we're very happy finally to have a car of our own because we have been in so many different rentals and the last rental we had was a Fiat 500 which was super small for our family of four so we're now parked up Callum's just getting my crutches out of the car and we're gonna go to B&M so we're now at B&M which is actually open till 6 which is half an hour longer than I thought it would be so we get a little time in here to have a look and see what they have to offer if you're a fan of Nightmare Before Christmas they have collectors action figures in here for only $9.99 Last time we came to B&M they only had Star Wars pop vinyls for $4.99. Now they have a lot more including Assassin's Creed and Fortnite. So if you collect pop vinyl figures definitely come and have a look. We were just walking past this aisle and I noticed this sign which says we now deliver flowers direct to your door. Order online at www.bmstores.co.uk. So it might be a flowers on a budget. Good for Mother's Day. Yes, yeah, for like all occasions, people die too, you know. We've been walking around here for 10 minutes and no bargains have really stood out to me, so I'm going to board B&M right now and go over to Poundland. I mean, that Poundland's not amazing, but I think we might find a few gems. Currently looking in the book section and I've found this LOL Surprise, my secret LOL handbook, and the retail was £6.99, but it's only a pound. That looks incredible. Look how thick that is. If you have a child who loves LOL surprise dolls, like my daughters, this is a bargain. Also found another book which is by the same make as the LOL surprise book, but this one is Marvel's Avengers Infinity War, which also retailed at $6.99. And as you can see, there's lots of content in here too. I was just walking up the stationery aisle and I spotted this mainly because it looks like it's worth more than one pound. It's Thomas and Friends a Trace and Draw set. Definitely looks like something which can keep kids busy for a few hours and it is only a pound. I was really shocked because I was expecting to see two pound plus. Bargain! Well that was a very brief visit to B&M and Poundland, we're now going to go and do some grocery shopping. Definitely want to go to Morrison's and Tesco because they have some amazing gluten free products that I want to pick up. We're now outside Morrison's and this is going to be a multi shop grocery shop. So we're going to go to Morrison's first because they've got lots of gluten free food which I love. Then we're going to go over to Lidl's to get our fresh meat and veg. And then finally Tesco because they have these Kirsty's gluten and dairy free pizzas which are so nice. And I also found out they're made in Italy as well. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm. The sauce is so good. So if you're dairy and glute gluten free, gluten free, <laughs> if you're dairy and gluten free, um, definitely try the pizzas. I will be showing them. So first stop, Morrison's. We're now in Morrison's cafe because we didn't have enough money to change for a trolley and Callum's hungry. So it's best that Callum has something to eat before we go shopping. Yeah. But he just bought a this Vimto slush. And look. Milkshake dispenser as well. That is the best though, but that doesn't look like the best flavour. No. You know what I mean? It doesn't look. I like them when they're proper glue and turn your tongue glue. I probably would still. Yeah. And Holly saw that all the condiments are free. So she's like, right, come on, crunch, I'll go get it. I so want to take a picture of this for Instagram. <laughs> Holly's attempt to be in fancy. I'm not being fancy, I just thought it makes more sense because you can dip your chips in like that. Alright, sure. They're a bit old. Not noisy chips. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm eating because this is for you, so I'll be being moody. I was going to go over to Tesco to pick up some gluten free vegan pizzas because that was the only place I thought you could get them. But I've just found these here in Morrison's and they look really nice. So these are £3.50, so I'm going to try one of these today and maybe we can go to Tesco for another video, maybe a £100 challenge in there. So we're going to do our shopping today here in Morrison's and the rest at Lidl. This is the uh, 
well, it's one of the meals that Holly was on about, the Kirsty's Minis. They don't have the big ones, because Holly wanted a big lasagna, but you're quite happy to have a small one, aren't you? To be honest with you, these small ones are probably better for me, because I don't eat all my food at once. So these are £2 each. I'm also going to get some of this um, puff pastry, so we can make our own like sausage rolls at home. Yeah. The reason I think it's best, to, especially if you're gluten-free, to just, like, split where you do your shopping, is Lidl don't have an awesome range of gluten-free. I mean, they have things like flour and, um, you know, the basic biscuit range and things like that, but they don't have as much as what Morrison's and Tesco's and the other shop have. So, yeah, keep going. Hold on, my leg. Get there eventually. So we can't go shopping without buying Holly's dad Andy a trifle, so we got him a little trifle. I got myself some cream soda and I've also lost Holly because <laughs> I thought you know what, I'll sneak off before she can get too far yeah she oh there she is found anything you like holes yeah sure they're actually really nice I actually prefer these to the um, like regular ones they're really really nice now this bit is the hardest bit for me because they've got so much nice stuff on offer at the minute. Ice I say nice stuff, it's all junk. Ice cream. Ice cream, oh gosh. Free from ice cream. Yeah, I'll hold that over for you. Wow. Which one is this? Just uh, vanilla? Yep. Iced Italian dessert. Hmm. Yummy. We're actually got quite a bit considering we're doing half our shop here and half at... No, mainly it's just free stuff, isn't it? Yeah. So we're now finished with our brief shop in Morrison's and we're gonna head over to Lidl, which is just over the road. You've got to help me out. I do, yeah. We're now outside Lidl and it's taken me ages to get round the stores. As you can see, it's now dark. So we've come up with this idea for me to use a trolley as a Zimmer frame and hopefully get round a bit quicker. So yeah, now about to go in Lidl. Holly was like, hey, look how healthy my stuff is. I was like, well, apart from the donuts, yeah. Yeah, you did that. I did. I was picking out all the fruit and veg and you were just like getting donuts. Yeah. It's called teamwork, isn't it? So Holly's going really speedy walking past all this. But luckily she didn't walk past these. They're lasagnas, which are absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna pick up two of these. Because that, that does me, Molly and Bella for a dinner. Are you grabbing a whole box of ham? Oh, no, you put them up. <laughs> I thought you're grabbing a whole box of ham. Don't waddle too far. Harley! What have I found? So, £1.69, we've got the McDonald's Duplicates Chicken Nuggets. Ten in a box with curry sauce and sweet and sour sauce. And they originally released these about two years ago, and we have been looking for them because we want to do the taste test. Unfortunately, I can't do it now because I'm gluten-free, but I'm sure you and the kids won't mind. I'll, I'll take that bullet for you, darling. Yeah, even the sauce. Look at the sauce pot. I know. They look identical. I am so excited. Maybe that I can try the sauce. So we're going to get a couple of packets of these today and yeah, try some nuggets later. I recently had a message from someone on Instagram saying, where can I get a good quality cabin suitcase? And I've just found these. They've got them in lots of different colours and they're actually really light. And they're the ones with, you know, the good wheels. And they're £29.99 each while stocks last. Quite a few. I love Lidl's, they're so random. One minute you're getting like some beef and the next minute you're getting a, you know, three man ten. Yeah. I've just found these ladies knickers and they have them in small, medium and large and you get two pairs in there. And that's the style I really like. It's gone as far as I'm actually showing me buy my underwear from Lidl's on a blog. The only thing is, right, I like to go for a large, but it says the large in these are 18 to 20, so it could be way big. Because normally, like, a large in Primark or something is at 14 to 16, isn't it? It's been ages since I've shopped for underwear, so it's about time I bought a new pair, or two new pair in each packet um, from Lidl's for £2.49. But I, I like the blue ones. So Holly just told me I'm getting some underwear as well, apparently. Yeah, I mean, why waste a lot of money? Like, I don't want to go to Ann Summers and get some, like, underwear. And, you know, why do you don't have your Calvin Klein's, you can have your little. Just be like, yeah, under here, you know. Hey Holly, you know you can get like turkey dinosaurs, yeah? yeah. You can get safari chicken nuggets. 1.99. Yeah. 
you got an elephant, you got, I'm guessing, a zebra, a rhino. They look awesome. So we definitely have stocked up. I mean, since uh, America, I live for wings. Can you stop taking my away? Oh, <laughs> you're forgetting, sorry. So not only are you buying little underwear, but you're now like, oh, that smells really nice. No, because normally when you come in like shops like this, the perfume stinks like a whore's handbag. Really, really stinks. And this is like, oh, it's not that price. No, it's not. It's this price. Oh, it's, it's, still, it's still like 3 99 But I was like, smell that. What do you think? It's not as bad, is it? No, it's very mild. I'm not going to have it. I'm just saying it, it's nicer. It doesn't pop a stink like it's going to knock you out. If you've got a cat, they've got lots of cat items in here. The first one is this cat scratching post for $24.99. And they also have this one, which is leopard print for $19.99. And then this little cave bed, which is also $19.99. If you're a fan of Where's Wally, you can now get Where's the Llama. These books are down from $6.99 to $1.99. And they are identical to Where's Wally. So we must have spent about 80 quid in Lidl's because the trolley is full. Callum's put loads of junk in the top, so don't judge by the top because it's Callum. But look, this is my nice healthy pile with some chicken nuggets on top. So we're using lots of these reusable bags. We actually got these from VidCon London. They were meant to be handed out free to everybody, but those people weren't taking them, so we ended up taking about 50 of them. Because the security guard Tom was, Hardy said so. yeah, well, basically, as the security guard, he no, looks, he was Tom Hardy. yeah, he looked like Tom Hardy. So <laughs> if you ever go to the XL and you like yourself a bit of Tom Hardy, it's nice security. But yeah, he let us take like 50 of these. We're now putting the shop in in the boot. Now this is where we find out how much room is in here. I did check it before buying, and it seems like there's a lot of space. It's very deep. Got a lot of stuff in there already. Drive. Yes. Can I sit down in yeah, the car? Yeah, you, you get yourself in the car, I'll bring it Yeah, so this is the colour. I originally wanted white, but the white would have been four weeks, and then it would have cost us about, um, I think, £600 to have a rental car for that four weeks, so we just went for blue, but it's not too bad. I still like it. I just, white is my, ow, bang me head. <laughs> white is my go-to colour for a car. We're back home now, it's actually quite late, I come down to have a snack in the kitchen and I totally forgot I haven't ended this vlog so I just want to say thank you for watching, if you would like a shout out please use the hashtag hollyvlogs or Holly Squad in the comments and you can be in our next video. Until next time we will see you soon, bye!